Good morning, class. I am Teacher Athena, and today we are going to discuss the rock forming minerals. Are you excited? But first, may I request everybody to rise? And let's start the day with an opening prayer. Let us bow down our heads and feel the presence of our Lord. Father God, come be with us today. Fill our hearts with joy. Fill our minds with learning. Fill our classrooms with peace. Fill our lessons with fun. Fill our friendships with kindness. And fill our school with love. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may now take your seat. And now that we are on the limited face-to-face -face classes, may I just remind you of the three golden rules. The first is to always wear your face mask, wash your hands frequently, and last is to maintain distance in your classmates. Are those clear? Very good. And also, may I just remind you of the Clego. What is Clego once again, class? Clean as you enter, cleaner as you go. That's good. Okay, so let's check the attendance who are absent for today. None? So we have perfect attendance. Clap your hands. Very good. And every start of our lesson, we are having a science trivia. Who is assigned to give the science trivia for today? Yes, Andrew. So our science trivia for today is... According to Abraham Gottlob Werner, he is considered as the founder of mineralogy. Uh -huh. He was the first to systematically classify minerals during 1771 to 1800 by their physical characteristics. Thanks to Abraham Gottlob Werner, we have now this branch of science dealing with rocks and minerals. Thank you, Andrew, for giving that science trivia. Our topic this morning will focus on the rock forming minerals. Okay? But before that, let's recall. Who can recall? Let's review our previous discussion on the three types of rocks. Yes, Jessa? Very good. The three types of rocks are igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks. Good job. At the end of the discussion, you are expected to identify the common rock-forming minerals using their physical and chemical properties. Please get a sheet of paper. We are going to have our pretest. You have your paper now? Identify what is being asked. You are just going to choose the letter of the correct answer. Ready? Let's begin. Number one, it refers to the quality of light on the surface of a rock, crystal, or mineral. Letter A, luster. B, color. C, strict. D, hardness. E, cleavage. I repeat, it refers to the quality of light on the surface of rock, crystal, or mineral. Write your answer. Number two, it is caused by the absorption or lack thereof of visible light by their crystalline structure. I repeat, it is caused by the absorption or lack thereof of visible light by their crystalline structure. Letter A, same options, luster, B, color, C, strict, D, hardness, or E, cleavage. Number three, it is the color of the powdered mineral produced when it is dragged across a surface. It is the color of the powdered mineral produced when it is dragged across the surface. Same options. Please write your answer. Number four. It is a mineral's ability to resist scratching or abrasion. 
It is a mineral's ability to resist scratching or abrasion. Same options. Write your answer, letter A, luster, B, color, C, strict, D, hardness, and E, cleavage. And last, number five. It is the tendency of a mineral to split or cleave along planes of weaknesses. I repeat, it is the tendency of a mineral to split or cleave along planes of weaknesses. Letter A, luster, B, color, C, strict, D, hardness, and letter E, cleavage. Okay, check your own work. Be honest. Number one, the answer is? Very good. It's letter A, luster. Number two, the answer is? Letter B, color. Number three, the answer is? Letter C, strict. Letter C is the answer for number three. And number four, the answer is? Letter D, hardness. And last, number five, letter E, cleavage. Very good. So, who got perfect five? Very good. So, it's okay if you didn't make it perfect. What's important is as we go on with our discussion, you will learn something. And at the end of our discussion, you will now be able to perfect the test. Any question? If not, let's proceed. We are going to watch this short video clip. Everybody, let's watch. These are composed of elements found in the periodic table such as gold, copper, graphite, diamond, and many others. This time, let's discuss this branch of science that deals with the study of minerals. Anyone who can tell me what do you call the study of minerals? Yes? That is mineralogy. Great job! Mineralogy is a subject of geology specializing in the scientific study of the chemistry, crystal structure, and physical properties of minerals and mineralized artifacts. Now that we know mineralogy, who can tell me a person who studies minerals? Anyone who can tell me? What they call the person who studies minerals? They are called as 
mineralogy is very good since minerals are find as naturally occurring solid substances there is tremendous range of ideas and processes that can be studied this includes everything from the soil surface to the center of the earth and maybe a few extraterrestrial materials this day also we are going to discuss the physical properties of minerals we are going to discuss about luster color streak hardness and cleavage or fracture let's begin with luster luster refers to the quality of light on the surface of a rock mineral or crystal a mineral with high luster is said to be very reflective. Can you give me some examples of the minerals that you know that are very reflective or they shine brightly when they are placed under the sun? Anyone? Okay, so we have example of metallic lusters. We have copper, silver, gold, iron. They shine brightly and they are very reflective. While non-metallic lusters include the following. We have pearly, vitreous, resinous, silky, adamantine, waxy, and other more. The second physical property of a mineral is color. Let's define color. Color is caused by the absorption or lack thereof of visible light by their crystalline structure. Do you want to see many colors of different rocks and minerals? Look at that picture. So this is some of the examples of colorful minerals. We also have fluorescent minerals. They glow in the dark even in the deepest part of the cave they will shine like fluorite found in UK, dolomite found in Sweden, calcite in India, and many other. It's wonderful, right? The third physical property of a mineral is called as streak. Okay, what is streak? Streak is the color of the powdered mineral produced when it is dragged across the surface. Okay, streak is different from color. Take note, streak is produced when it is dragged across the surface. The rock or mineral may appear color block, but when you scratch it or drag it across the surface, the streak may be color brown. Okay, so these are some of the examples of rocks and minerals with their streak color. Like cinnabar, it's a color black mineral, but when it is dragged across the surface, what will be the color of its streak? Color? Brown. Great job. Number four, hardness. From the word itself, it is the mineral's ability to resist scratching or abrasion. We can identify the hardness of a mineral through scratch test. You can just use your fingernails, or you can get a coin, a nail, or even a rock also. Rock to rock, you can test the hardness of each mineral. Okay, let's discuss also who is this very important mineralogist in the name of Carl Friedrich Christian Moss. He was a German geologist and mineralogist, and he was the creator of the most scale of mineral hardness. So he is very famous for his scale of hardness, but according to his scale, the hardest mineral is... Anyone from the class? Yes, Ivan, it's... Diamond, very good. Diamond is said to be the hardest mineral according to the Moss scale of hardness and what is the softest mineral according to the scale you have your talc do you know that talc is part of our powder and part of some makeup products 
Okay, so we have talc, gypsum, calcite, fluorite, apatite, feldspar, quartz, topaz, corundum, and the hardest according to the Moss scale is the diamond. Diamond is a pressurized carbon. This can be found deep under our ground. And only diamond can cut a diamond if it's real. So you can test your jewelries if they are real diamonds. And the last, the number five, physical property of a mineral is the cleavage or fracture. What do you mean by cleavage or fracture? It is the tendency of a mineral to split or cleave along planes of weaknesses. Those cracks that you see in this slide are called as fracture. So when you throw a mineral or that rock, the plates where there will be weaknesses and the part where they will split is called as cleavage or fracture. Okay, so let's sum it up. Let's recall what are again the five physical properties of a mineral. We have luster, color, streak, hardness, and we also have cleavage or fracture. Any question before we proceed with our activity? None? So, please pass this activity sheet on your seat. You are going to identify the physical properties of the following minerals. So, I will give you real rock and mineral samples. I have here some examples of real rocks and minerals. Okay, so this rock and mineral will be your guide in answering our activity. Okay, so these are the following minerals that you are going to identify the physical property. Okay, we have calcite, granite, diamond, sandstone, and hematite. So personally, you can touch as long as you return it properly. Okay, so identify its luster, color, streak, hardness, and cleavage or fracture. So I will give you three minutes to finish the activity. Any question? None? So let's start answering. Here are your rock samples. to fade away cause every time i wake up i feel like it's monday something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain all of a sudden i don't look at anything the same way got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray i'm sorry that i'm so inconvenient okay just let me be me and i'll stay out of your way i can see the way you look at me i'm such a disgrace i never really asked to be brought into this place you wanna love me well then baby I have a taste all the highs and the lows no you'll never be the same i don't really wanna hurt you but i can't control the pain if you're sticking by my side maybe we could be okay 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 maybe you could be the change i need today i promise that i've never felt this way i really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away As you fade away 
let's start answering. Please check your own work. Three minutes is over. Let's start with the first mineral. It's calcite. So calcite, is it lustrous or not? The answer is lustrous. What's the color? It's color white. How about the streak? Okay, have you tried to drag it across the surface? So the streak color is white. Hardness. Is it hard or soft? It's semi-hard. How about the cleavage or fracture? It has fracture or cleavage. Good job. Number two. Granite used for construction purposes. This is an example of an igneous rock. It's not lustrous. The color is ranging from brown to black. Strict. You try it. Hardness. It's hard. And it also has some fractures or cleavage. Number three. We have diamond. Is it lustrous or not? It's very reflective. It is lustrous. Color. Do you know that we have different colors of diamond? And those colorful diamonds are even pricey and of high value than the white diamond. Color. It depends. Strict. It depends. Hardness. It's very hard. Remember, once again, it's the hardest mineral with 10 in the most scale of mineral hardness. Cleavage or fracture? Very little fracture. Number four, sandstone. Sandstone is not that lustrous. Color ranging from color brown to white. Streak depending on your Ability to drag it across the surface. Hardness, it's hard. Cleavage or fracture, yes, it has some cleavage. And last number five, we have hematite. It is not lustrous. Color, mostly red to black. Strict, sometimes red. Some hematite, when you drag it across the surface, it is color black. It's hard and it also has little fractures, some fractures on its body. Okay, so who got perfect five? Okay, very good. So that is our activity one. Please pass your paper. Thank you. And do you want to see some other examples of rocks and minerals? Okay, let's have some pictures on the different rocks and minerals that can be found all over our planet. We have olivine, pyroxene. Look at the different properties of these minerals. We also have, according to geologyin.com, the most deadly minerals, including asbestos, cinnabar, stibnite, galena, Thorburnite and Orpiment. Why are they deadly? Asbestos, when powderized, asbestos, by the way, is included in some um, construction purposes like part of the cement and other industry used for construction. When inhaled, asbestos can be very, very deadly. Okay? When inhaled, this can cause lung edema. Your lungs will be inflamed. Beware of those Minerals. We also have radioactive minerals. Radioactive, why? They have radioactive elements like radium, polonium, uranium, and other radioactive elements. Look at the colors. The color ranges from color brown to somewhat neon yellow or some yellow green. So be careful with those minerals. They are pretty to look at, but they are dangerous. And also, I want to share to you some of the real pictures based from my personal experience 
from the training I have attended entitled Geology and DRR Training for Senior High School Teachers of Camarines Sur held last November 14 to 17, 2018 at Casa Lorenzo de Ragalbay, sponsored by Bicol University and Department of Science and Technology. That is my hand holding quartz with pyrite. We also have fluorite. We also have gypsum. Look at gypsum. It has many fractures in it. I also have handed some of these minerals given by our speaker that time. I also touched calcite, hematite. Okay. We also have diorite, schist, chalcopyrite. And we also have an example of a sedimentary rock where fossils are embedded. So this is a fossil of a brittle star. Black limestone, copper ore. Okay, and this is my favorite. Is it a wood or a rock? Anyone who can tell me? It may look like a wood, but this is very heavy. That's why it is called as petrified wood. Petrification is the process wherein wood turns into rock as time goes by. So this is very heavy. And I am telling you that this is not a wood. It's now a rock. Okay. Another is tectite. This is an example of rock coming from the outer space. Would you believe that it is brought to our planet through an asteroid impact long, long time ago? So this tectite in some way or another is coming from the outside of our planet. I have here also real pictures of us conducting field work in the parts of Partido and Rinconada area. Yes, that's me. Okay, under the columnar rock formation. And this is our speaker. He is a geologist and author of geology books, not only in the Philippines, but also in other countries. He is Dr. Christopher G. Newhall. This is my teammates from the training. And this is our group. Any questions? From what we have discussed, do you have any question? None? So I presume that you all understood our discussion on the rock forming minerals and their physical properties. So this time, let's have the post test. Identify what is being asked and Choose the letter of the correct answer. Everybody, please get a piece of paper, a one for it will do, and of course, your pen. Number one, are you ready? It refers to the quality of light on the surface of a rock, crystal, or mineral. It is the quality of light on the surface of rock, crystal, or mineral. The answer is luster. Number two, it is caused by the absorption or lack thereof of visible light by their crystalline structure. The answer is letter B, color. Number three, it is the color of the powdered mineral produced when it is dragged across the surface. The answer is streak. Number four, it is a mineral's ability to resist scratching or abrasion. The answer is Letter D, hardness. Very good. Number five. It is the tendency of mineral to split or cleave along planes of weakness. It is the tendency of a mineral to split or cleave along planes of weakness. The answer is letter E, cleavage. So very good. Count the total and pass your paper. Wow, we have perfect five. Great job. Clap your hands for everybody. Clap your hands. Thank you for listening. But before that, let's have our take-home activity. In a long-sized bond paper, identify the uses and sources of the minerals included in the most scale of hardness. 
Number two, identify the common rock forming minerals using their chemical properties. So you may submit or send your answers in our Google Classroom or in my Gmail account at inalakbay at gmail.com. Any question? If not, thank you for listening.